think also we need to consider that some schools would prefer to have their catch-up funding as a lump sum for them to uh, decide how best to spend it. They, of course, know how their, what their children need best. Uh, and for many, there will be more pressing concerns than academic catch-up. And we know that from evidence in the committee, again, about the, the well-being and the mental health issues that many children are facing. There's some great practice out there. Horizon Community College in Barnsley, in my constituency, actually appeared on the local news last week. They set up a well-being centre. They've invited Mind, the charity, into the, the school. Children can drop into the well-being centre at any point. It's having a huge impact um, on, on the, the mental health of children in school. They very much welcome it. So there are some great examples of good practice out there, but it tends to be the bigger schools who've got the bigger budgets and therefore can be more flexible. Uh, but that's definitely something to, to learn from.